thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I have some things here that I want to show you. First of all, you need to see 2019 partner report. And I really want you to pay close attention to this. Um, Tim, where are you, where are you going to sit? You're going to come up here? Okay. So um, this is the 2019 uh, partner pr uh, report and overview of the ministry. Now remember, you're a stockholder and there is the twice sown seed because you sow into this ministry, we tithe everything that comes into this ministry. Amen. So now you have sown into this ministry and it goes out into another ministry. Now you're partners with that ministry. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And this thing is multiplying. Amen. 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 So watch this. The covenant is a legacy we can give to our generation. We see Papa Kenneth, Mama Gloria, we see pastors George and Terry Preston. We see them leave the faith life before us. But you know, it's a different thing when you have to step on that water. You have to step on the word that you know. In your partnership is provision. In your partnership is revelation. What they know, you will know. 2019, the year of abundant harvest. This is Pastor George Pearson, CEO of Kenneth Copeland Ministries International. Together, we're impacting the world with God's Word. Together, we're getting the job done. And because you pray, because you give, you make it possible. Let's take a look back at what we accomplished together in 2019. Since 1984, Kenneth Copeland Ministries has had the honor of helping over 126 million people come to know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, both personally and through the ministries with whom we partner. Last year alone, we celebrated more than 3,654,000 salvations. This is because of your partnership and the other 640,782 partners and friends worldwide. While we have moved into the digital age, we continue to produce print material. We're blessing many by sending six million BVOV magazines and partner letters into 200 countries around the world. Over 77 million products have been distributed since the ministry began. Through our websites, online video streaming, podcasts, and social media, the message of faith is impacting people across the world like never before. Thanks to our partners, KCM events are free to attend. Many can be watched online via the KCM website, Victory Channel, and social media outlets. And it's here you can experience the uncompromised Word of God and build your faith. The ministry shows no sign of slowing down. Brother Copeland's commitment to preach the Word of Faith around the world and pray for his partners daily continues to change lives. Brother Copeland has often said, Prayer is the foundation for every successful Christian endeavor. Agreeing with you in prayer, whether on the phone, in a meeting, on social media, or even by mail, is an honor and privilege we don't take lightly. Checking in on our partners in the wake of tragedy is a vital role of the entire KCM prayer team. In 2019, our partner services team initiated 19 calling campaigns to our partners in areas affected by fires, tornadoes, floods, and shootings. Across the board, our partners experienced little to no damage. Praise God for Psalm 91 protection over our partners. Your generosity empowers KCM to respond both in prayer and in finances. We've partnered with Operation Blessing to provide clean water, food, supplies, and other support in response to natural disasters and other tragedies. In 2019, the ministry sowed over $1 million towards these relief efforts. Thank you, partners. In 1973, the Lord spoke to Brother Copeland's heart. He declared that the grounds of Kenneth Copeland Ministries is to be the revival capital of the world. Eagle Mountain International Church is at its very foundation. Pastor Terry and I are committed to discipling believers intensely in the Word of God. 
The church serves the local community. It also ministers to e-members with the help of live streaming. Each week, online services are joined by people from more than 50 countries. In 2018, Brother Copeland's global vision to preach the uncompromised word of faith gave birth to our fully accredited Kenneth Copeland Bible College. Students are taught how to apply the principles of faith to their lives and are equipped for the ministry God has called them to. KCBC is another way your generosity is changing lives. The Victory Channel is a unique Christian television network focused solely on the message and spirit of faith. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, filling the airways with faith, hope, and healing. Kenneth Copeland Ministries underwrites the airtime for 27 other ministries to broadcast the message of faith free of charge. That's your seed being multiplied through every one of these ministries. More than 10% of every dollar received goes directly into helping other ministries around the world. No matter the amount, your financial seed is precious to us and to God. We've partnered with several orphanages, including Abba House in Thessaloniki, Greece. Abba House was founded by Kenneth and Gloria's granddaughter, Jenny Papapastoli. Through their work with the orphanage and community outreach, they've been able to help 115 children and their families. Your generosity empowers our commitment to evangelism. In 2019, KCM's evangelism team trained over 1,500 partners from more than 130 churches in nine different countries. As a result, Heaven recorded 6,221 salvations, 126 rededications, and 246 healings. Jesus said, when you visit those in prison, you visit me. Kenneth and Gloria love and visit those in prison. Every year, the ministry sows over 520,000 products and Bibles to chaplains and inmates. Praise God! Countless lives have been transformed because you've connected and committed to being part of our global mission. We're excited as we experience Brother Copeland's 2020 work, the year of new visions, manifest power, and great change. Thank you, partners, for all you do to help us fulfill the mandate to preach the uncompromised word of faith from the top of the world to the bottom and all the way around the middle on every available voice. Remember, God loves you and we love you. And Jesus is Lord. Praise God. Now here's, here's what, I, what I wanted you to get a hold of. Hold on, for instance, now, as a partner of this ministry, the ordinance of David, out beside your name, it says that you have won 126,400,000 plus people to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the ordinance that's in place. Can you see it? Take advantage of it. Say, glory to God. Glory. And the more I help the Copelands, the stronger it gets in my house. And God will begin to bring people across your path the same way He brings them across glory in my path. And He'll prosper you and give you the funds with which to minister to them. And then we partner up with Jerry and Jerry's, you know, I mean, it, hey, I'm a partner with Jerry Savelle Ministries. Amen. I'm a partner here. And don't you think I don't take advantage of it? Praise God. All right. Here we go. All right, watch this now. Since the beginning of Kenneth Copeland Ministries in 1967, the Lord has used Brother Copeland as a leader in advancing Christian media. The Lord told him he was to preach the uncompromised word of faith from the top of the world to the bottom and all the way around the middle on every available voice. The media ministry of KCM started with reel-to-reel -reel tapes and books. Radio came next, and the Believer's Voice of Victory radio broadcast quickly grew to over 700 stations. In 1979, 
KCM officially began the award-winning Believer's Voice of Victory television broadcast, which has become a staple in Christian television around the world. As satellite and internet emerged as new available voices, KCM began broadcasting there as well. In 2015, the largest step of all was taken as the Believer's Voice of Victory Network was launched. The mission of the network is to give the uncompromised word of faith 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In 2019, KCM continued to prepare for growth and utilize new voices as the Believer's Voice of Victory Network changed its name to Victory. In 2020, the Victory Channel continues to expand as several new original programs have come to air on the network. And as of August 2020, DirecTV has officially become another new outlet for Victory, allowing the Word of God to be sent to millions of new homes. With our eyes set on the future, we will continue to grow, expand, and take ground. All of the broadcasters and ministers are committed to one purpose, for you to experience your victory in Christ. Kenneth Copeland Ministries will continue to be a leader in Christian media and utilize every available voice to preach the uncompromised word of faith. Jesus is Lord. Amen. And now, when, <laughs> when they, of course, ever since in the, the very beginning, you notice that um, Pastor Terry uh, is pre-service prayer. That goes back to the foundation of this ministry because my father in the faith, Oral Roberts, taught me that every Christian success or failure is, a, is first a prayer failure or a prayer success. That you put, you, you, you make God's word final authority, but you put prayer up top. The first thing that they built at Oral Roberts University was the prayer tower. That was the first structure on that campus, the prayer tower. So we followed suit and the first thing we built here before we ever built this building, before we ever built the headquarters building was our little chapel down there on the corner. That was, that was it, amen. And, and we started with prayer. Well, the first broadcast on direct was morning prayer. Now, we, we were not in the, our home spot at that time. We were on 314, I think, and now we're on 366. That's the, that put us right in the neighborhood with Daystar and all of them. That was our, to be our final assignment where we are now. And so the first broadcast was morning prayer. We just saw to it that that's the way it started. And just, I mean, just right off the bat, um, the phone lines just queued up because it had been something like Home Shopping Channel. And there's people never heard of this ministry on there, but somebody's going to pray for me, man. Here they, and here they came. And now they're hearing the word of faith. Amen. 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 Praise God. Isn't it good? Yes. Every available voice. Every available voice. Yeehaw. <laughs> okay, watch this. My name's Austin O'Neill, and this is my lovely wife, Bonnie O'Neill. The life that we were living was different from the life that the Spirit was telling us that we were supposed to be living. So we rededicated our lives, went back to church, and they announced a Kenneth Copeland oh, meeting. Right, right. And so we had never experienced Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland, Copeland or any of their teaching, right. but we decided that we would go. So we went to this meeting and it was just faith packed, faith filled. And it was like, you know what? You do not have to be in the situation that you're in. Mm -hmm. God has something better for you. He wants better for you. You do not have to settle in your life. We learn agreement through Kenneth and, and, and Gloria. Right. The most, they said, the most powerful force on this earth is a husband and a wife in agreement. We decided that we, we wanted, wanted a, house. a house. So Lord, we're gonna believe for a house. So we sat down and she wrote up a contract with God that 
This is what we want in the house, and this is the kind of house we want. Found every scripture I could about what the promises of God were for us, and we signed it, and my son even signed, signed it. it he was eight then. He was eight, yeah. and, and we put it on the wall by the door, and every time we went in and out of the, out of the house, we, we would just say, Lord. thank you, Jesus, right. we receive it in your name. Right, so we were out every day every evening, every day, looking for homes, looking for homes. And, and it got to a point, it was like two days before we had to move out. Uh, this guy was getting out of his car. This was 10 o'clock at night, yeah. and we're on the way home now, yeah, on, on. going through this development right. that we really liked and wanted to be in. Yeah, this guy was getting out of his car, and I, so I told him, Marilyn, stop the car. I want to get out and talk to him. That house is not for sale. I don't know why I have to st stop the car. So she stopped the car. I went out and I she said, said we, I, I, I can't go up there and give him my card. I'm a real estate agent yeah. and I'll be in trouble for that. You sit yeah, in the car right, then, right. we'll You'll get out. out. So I got out, I said, hi, my name's Austin O'Neill. Are you going to sell your house? Because Holy Spirit told me he's gonna sell his house. That's why I was stopped. So he says, you know, I just, finished the divorce. I've got a house in Texas and I've got a house here. I've got to sell this house. Everything we had asked the Lord for was in that house. Right. So he said to him, could we get a delayed settlement of yeah. a year? Yeah. And she goes, oh no, they're only doing delayed settlements of about three weeks right now. And he said to us, he says, I will consider anything. Right. So we prayed about it. God told us exactly how to write the contract <laughs> out. And the way God told us to write it was he was actually, we were paying him in monthly rent less than what he was actually paying on the mortgage. Right. That's what it turned out to be. Right. We offered him X amount of dollars and to put X amount of dollars in escrow so at the end of the year we would have some money for for our down payment. Right. And she went, never will he ever offer accept this. Right. And he did. He did. He did. Right. And that we we lived in that house for a year. We saved everything that we could, but at the end of the year we needed an additional ten thousand dollars to go yeah. to settlement that right. we did not have. I out before we go to settlement. We're ready to go out the door. We're ready to go out, the phone rings. Uh, where's your settlement? We told them where the settlement is. Uh, God told me to give you $10,000. $10, $10,000, we'll meet you there. We'll meet you there. We go <laughs> Thank there. Thank you, Jesus. And We're so awesome. we ask them, well, how do you want us to, to pay you back monthly or how do you want us to do this, right? He said, no, this is a gift. God said it's a gift. It's a gift. We thank the voice of victory. Yes. Because. And for everything that they have put in us and everything that they have taught us to apply in our lives has brought life to us. And now we know we've brought life to others because of it. We know that being partners with them means that even though we're not doing the things at the level that they're doing it at, right. that God seed. is still honoring us because our, our seed. seed is going into the ministry and that ministry is just changing lives all over the world. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Now, Pastor George has taught us when we see something like that to say, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> happens to me all the time. Praise God. I remember believing God for that Gulf Stream 5 and it needed a new interior as all of you know. And uh, so, and Tyler Perry, bless his heart. I mean, he had already, he, he had already cut the price of this thing. He, he owed more on it. And I just asked him, I, I said, Tyler, can we take certain figures? Yeah, he said, I'll take that. And so we finished the deal. And then he writes a check for $250,000 to go on to the interior. Wow. Boy, what a prince of a man. One of my heroes in the faith, praise God. 
That's just an amazing thing. You didn't say it. Uh, <laughs> happens to me all the time. <laughs> all the time. Now, Jerry Savell, can I tell a story about the Falcon? Sure. Has been believing God for a Falcon 50, which is a, a just a wonderful um, international airplane. Now they don't build them anymore. So they have become a very sought after piece of equipment. And uh, he just wouldn't give up. Just stayed on his faith. That Falcon 50, that's it. That's my airplane. That's mine. I won't give up on it. I'll just, and God has blessed him with, with a really great, airplane, but it's not internationally capable. Well, we got to have it. So he just kept on, kept on. And now to find a Falcon 50 in pristine condition with only a, a little over 4,000 hours on it is impossible but he did. Yes. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> but he did. Because he preaches favor. Amen. All the time. Favor. Favor. Divine favor. And the thing is just a few miles from here. It wasn't off a thousand miles away. It's not, it's not even 500 miles away. Not even 400 miles away. <laughs> sitting in a hangar waiting for me. Yeah, he said sitting in a hangar waiting for him. And the man that owned the airplane, he just figured, well, it's just time to sell it. And he decided he'd sell it. And so Jerry said, will you do this? Yeah. Will you do that? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. How about this? Okay. <laughs> Amen. See, he didn't need but one. The one. The one was out there all the time. He didn't need to look at 50 of them. One. The yeah. one. Praise God. Yeah. Now, watch this. I'm excited about this. My name is Bethany Greiner, and I'm a part of the inaugural class of KCBC. When I first came here, I was hungry for the word. That is why I was open to coming here. I thought I knew a lot. <laughs> and then I came here and realized, wow, I have a lot to learn. When the Lord first started dealing with me about coming here to the school, I was in a dating relationship and we were pretty serious. I felt in my heart that, that we were meant to be together and we were supposed to get married. And so the idea of moving and doing long distance, coming here to Texas, it didn't add up in my timeline in my head. I'm like, but Lord, what about this guy? You brought him into my life, how's this gonna work out? And so I just had to surrender him and our relationship to the Lord. And I made that face step and moved here. And so the first year of school, I was dating and we got engaged over Christmas break and then got married. And um, my husband has gotten plugged in here to this community as well. He's now working at KCM. We never could have figured out before I came here how the Lord was gonna work out everything. And I've just seen him be so faithful and meet every need physically, financially, relationally. Um, he has just come through in more ways than I could have ever imagined. Throughout these two years, I have just been stretched so much spiritually and grown so much spiritually. I've learned so much about ministry um, from the hands-on side as well, and learned about the practical application of what it looks like to be in a ministry, to be a part of a ministry. And I 
see that there's so much more God has called me to than what I thought of originally when I came here. The Lord has been opening doors and showing me and, and, and unveiling the gifts He has placed inside of me and those are beginning to be developed and grown here, which has been amazing. I have been very blessed to be involved in the school and this church community here at KCBC, EMIC. I first got plugged in and involved with the church through our practicum that we do with the school program. Even now, I have gone beyond that and I, I am involved in the church in different areas that are not just related to my practicum, but I'm just serving because I've been blessed to get plugged into these areas. I'm really going to miss the daily impartation from the anointed instructors and teachers we have here at the school. All of us students, we've been doing daily life together for the past two years now. There's a special connection you make with people when you're just doing daily life together like that. The Lord has really worked in me these past two years, just learning how to yield to Him and trust Him fully in everything. And I am a lot more confident now in who I am in Christ. That's the core. I'm excited to see the grace that God has for, for the next thing that He's calling me into and that I'm going to step into. I'm excited to continue to just be around this amazing community here at EMIC and, and continue to grow more in faith. Praise God. I tell you, I'm so excited about that. It's amazing to me to have my name. I just, sometimes I just say, that's my name up there. <laughs> it's just, oh my. And, and then that, that brings me to this, this final one. Watch this one here. You'll get excited about this one too. I'm Isaac Smith, and I'm a part of the inaugural graduating class of Kenneth Copeland Bible College. So at first, I thought I knew who I was. I thought I knew exactly what I was gonna do. I didn't think at all that I was gonna learn as much as I did. My understanding of what covenant is and how to use my faith now versus what it was before, it's, it's just grown exponentially. Before coming here, I feel like I relied a lot on my parents' faith to do things or to receive things. And now that I had to step out on my own, after learning about faith and how to use it and how to apply it, and I've seen the results, and that wouldn't happen anywhere else. I know that I'm called to pastor. I'm excited to listen and to hear what he has to tell me to do and just walk out his plan for my life. I'm gonna miss like just this environment or this like faith environment where people just pick you up and encourage you to do more and to do better. Like you don't get that anywhere else. Like that was it was nothing like that back where I'm from. You know, I had my circle, but like that was it. Everybody around here is like this on fire, like faith, let's do this, like let's believe together type. Uh, environment and that's just that's what I'm gonna miss the most for sure there's no other place on this earth where you're gonna learn how to use your faith learn what covenant is and how to apply your faith knowing who you are in Christ I just don't think there's another place on this earth where you're gonna learn how to do that praise God I'm so excited about that glory to God thank you Lord Jesus Praise you, Father. We thank you and praise you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pastor George, would you come, please? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. Glory to God. What a time we are in. Yes, amen. What a time this ministry yes, is, is in. My own, I am on. And as we step into 2021, I was telling the, the church congregation Wednesday night that I, I received a text from you um, it was back almost a year ago now. I was getting ready for church and Brother Copeland texted me and he said, I got a word from the Lord. Call me after church if you want to. I thought, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to call him right now. And so, <clears throat> and you can, you can expound on this, but the Lord spoke to you about 2021 mm -hmm. is the year of the local church. The year of the local church, yes. And how significant that is in the face of everything and you know, we've been it, through. It was just, just a little while after the word of the Lord came concerning 2020. And you remember that came in three different parts. Mm -hmm. And um, I can look back on it and I can see all of this mess, this whole year in it. But wow. well, I, of course I didn't see it then. Yeah. And just right after that, in fact, we were just, 
working on the calendar for 2020. And I see now why the Lord said what he said. He said, start now on the 2021 calendar Mm -hmm. because this will be the year of the local church. Yeah, yeah. And what you saw was the the move of God in the churches. Oh yeah. And how significant it is with what we've been through, what we're dealing with right now, that the church rise up and take yes, their place yes, in the midst yes, of all of yes, this, yes, yes, even in the midst of California and what California has done where churches are concerned and other churches as well. Um, we are rising up. Church is rising up. It's getting stronger and yes, stronger and stronger. Yes. Brother Copeland, uh, There are people in here probably today that have never made the commitment to be a partner. And I want to give them the opportunity to do that. Let's all stand together. Please. And those of you that have never been a partner with Kenneth Copeland Ministries and you'd like to become one today, just come on up here to the altar. Brother Copeland is going to pray a special prayer over you and all of our partners. And those of you that are watching right now, uh, you can become a partner as well. You can text PARTNER to 36609 or you can go to kcm.org slash PARTNER and you can become a partner with us right now and receive this prayer that Brother Copeland is going to be praying over you. So is there anyone in here today? I know that earlier I asked the people, I said, how many partners are here? And I think every hand went up. <laughs> so this, this has been a partner service. Anybody? Oh, right over here. Right over, come on over. Come on over. Come on over, come on over here. Come on over this, gather up there. Praise God. Anybody else, anybody else? Come on up, come on up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I open this ministry to these new partners. And I thank you for them. I thank you for their lives. And I pray for all of my partners. Thank you, Jesus. Particularly in in line with the prayer that you instructed me many years ago that my partners need to hear this with their own ears. I pray for them. Thank you. All of my partners that have family outside the kingdom of God, children, Mm. family of any kind, anywhere. We bind you, Satan, over them and we pray the Lord of the harvest send laborers across their path with the word of their salvation, the word of their healing, the word of their deliverance. Thank you. And we thank you for them. And for our partners that that have any member of the family incarcerated anywhere. And we pray and we hold that family up before you. And all of my partners, all of my partners that work are employed for someone else, that you give them great and wonderful ideas and, and, and concepts in that business where they get, they get promotions even when times look bad. They get promotions, they get promotions, they get promotions yes. right on up yes. to owning the company if it be your will. <clears throat> or even give them their own business because they're faithful part to the point that people will come to them and say, how are you doing this? You're prospering right in the middle of this pandemic. You're prospering right in the, how do you do it? And you say, let me tell you, his name is Jesus and he'll do the same for you. Thank you. 
and their store, their business, their restaurant can be a focal point of people coming and they find and learn about Jesus there in that business. And all of my partners that right now don't have a job, but they desire a job. I'm asking you, Lord, to get them in contact with the best job they've ever had in their lives. Prosper them. All of my partners in the military. Oh, dear Jesus. All of my partners that are first responders. All of my partners that are on police forces around this country. They are under such, they're, they're being mistreated and it breaks my heart. They are ministers of God for our good. Then I have partners on these police forces around the country. Oh God, protect them. See to them and watch over their families. And take care of them, please. And we praise you and honor you for that. Oh, thank you, dear Jesus. And all of my partners, glory to God, that pastor churches. Yes. Thank you. And they're ahead of ministries. I'm asking you to give them partners and yes, partners to their church. Thank glory you. to God. And yes. more, 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 more people, more people, more people hungry for Jesus, more people hungry for the word of faith. Glory to God. Particularly in the areas that have been bound up because of bad leadership of the states and the, 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 the mayors of cities and so forth, just been bound up just because they, they hate God and they hate church. As one governor said, well, after all, it's only a social club. Hmm. Hmm. No, we're no. not social clubs. No, no. And we thank you. Thank you. And we praise you. And now, Father, I pray this prayer. that Gloria and I have prayed since the very beginning. We covenanted with you many, many years ago. We entered covenant and agreement with you that we would keep this ministry pure. First of all, we would keep it pure on the word yes. Yes. of God and that we would keep it pure financially and we would never compromise your word mm. for any reason. Thank you. Because we learned early on, whatever we compromise to keep, we'd eventually lose. And we do not compromise. It is, you named it the uncompromised word of faith. Yes. Thank you. And we have kept it pure sexually and will continue mm. to do so. And we receive our new partners. Look at me, new partners. <laughs> I receive you into this ministry. I learned something a long time ago from a very, very close friend of mine, Mike Barber. And one of the all time greats, Jim Tomlin is over here, my partner. <laughs> oh, one of the, one of the great football players of, of, of our time. And he and, and Mike Barber, I mean, they cut out of that same cloth. They're two men that just never quit. And I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> there was a time Jim Tomlin, as sweet a man as he is today, and got raised from the dead, glory to God. But there was a time if you're playing, if you're out facing him on a, this man hurt you. <laughs> and then pray for you after you got hurt. Praise God. Amen. I learned this from Mike. Uh, take a good look up to heaven. The Lord. Now, you didn't do what I said, do. Look up here. Look up here and smile. 
the Lord just took your picture. <laughs> <laughs> now you take a picture and it goes on my wall, all right, you do that. Oh, Father, I receive them into this ministry. Now, now let, me, let me tell you something. You don't just start here. No, you're part of this team. It's retroactive. All that's yeah. gone before you belongs yeah. to you. Yeah. Let's say you're part of a team and your pitcher pitches a perfect game and you're an outfielder. You could have sat down out there and uh, nobody went to first base. But the trophy belongs to you the same as it does the pitcher. It belongs to you. You're part of the team. Now, you're part of the team and you're part of the history that goes back all the way back to the beginning yes. and the foundation of that yes. ball club. You're part of that history and your trophy is right there with it. All of these souls and all, it's all retroactive. Oh. You are a partner wow. with this ministry. Oh, I tell you, it's just going to be a few days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more names is going in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God bless you. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to do something right now because we just have a few people here. All right, y'all smile. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You'll be on the wall. Glory to God. <laughs> Jesus. Turn around, face the <clears throat> congregation. Welcome now to the family of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Yeah, new partners to the family. Woo! Praise God. Praise God. You guys Let's can go ahead. Let's say it one more time. Yes. God loves you. We, we love, love you. you. And, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Praise God. 